Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and in this video, this is your preview to West Ham United versus Manchester United in the Premier League away at the London Stadium. Kickoff time in the UK, 7 pm, which is very unusual for a Sunday evening. Lying on BT Sort. Now, Manchester United obviously will be looking to bounce back after losing right in the last minute to Brighton. Home be and at the Amex Stadium. This is lineup I'll go in. In gold, David De Gea, right back and Wambasaka, centre backs, Luke Shaw, Hector Lindelof, left back Diego Delo, centre defence in field Casemiro, then in the midfield Christian Eriksen, Bruno Fernandes, Jaden Sancho. I believe uh, Anthony could play as well. Marcus Rashford and Anthony Marshall. Yes, that's the lineup I go in. Now, Manchester United away form against the top nine is absolutely shocking. I mean, they lost to Man City away from home, lost to Brentford away from home, lost to Arsenal away from home. The only side who we did not lose soon, the top nine away from home, was Tottenham Hotspur. That is shocking. That absolutely needed calling out. As a Manchester United fan, I find that totally unacceptable. I'm obviously thinking, oh, we're doing so well at home. Why are you feeling so negative? It's not about me feeling negative. It's about me being realistic, that that is nowhere near good enough for Manchester United Football Club. Because I have high standards to this football club. I do not accept mediocrity. I appreciate things take time, but our waveform is shocking. And the only way I think we can get top four is we are playing well at home. So that's the only way you can save us. But yeah, that is nowhere near good enough. Failing to beat all the top nine away from home is nowhere near acceptable for a club like Manchester United. It just shows we are a long way off still. And what happens when we have our two best centre-backs injured, Rashford's out on the team, Casemiro, we're nowhere near in the same team because we just don't have the squad then. It's as simple as that, really. But, yeah... I mean, I'm not happy about the away records at all. Honestly, shocking. If there's anything what bugs me, I will call it out on this channel. You don't get bullshit on this channel. All you get is just pure, straight facts. A proud supporter of the club since the 90s. And I will forever talk about Manchester United whether we win, draw or lose. If you're not winning to be on board... If we lose matches, you know where the door is. Get out and our fan base. Yeah, but anyway, going into the game, I believe it will be tough because West Ham, the other night, I thought they played quite well against Manchester City. But in the end, Manchester City just swept them aside in the second half. But they did have some players out ill, West Ham, but I thought they did very well. So one to watch out for would be Gerard de Bowen. I mean, Kurt Zuma, if he's available, he'll be one to watch out for as well. So this will not be a walk in the park at all. And if we lose, our top four hopes are well and truly in jeopardy because today Liverpool play Brentford at Anfield and if Liverpool win that, they're just two points behind us. So, yeah, I mean, Manchester United, if they throw this away, this is a failure of a season. I don't care what anyone says. I know we've won the Carabao Cup, which is great, but if we bottle the top four, this is the biggest bottle job ever, honestly. And massive questions will need to be asked. Not so much Gary Ten Hag about these players. I mean, it's quite worrying recently, we kind of like gone back to playing how we were last season, the last few matches, which is something we need to put right immediately. Because if we throw away top four, then like I said, it's a failure this season. Absolute failure. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. 
And I'll be back tomorrow with a pre-match YouTube shorts. And then, obviously, I'll be doing a match with you in the evening at this game. Score prediction, I'm going for 2-1 victory to Manchester United. Come on, United, we need to get over the line, please. This must not slip now. Famous words a Liverpool player said, but unfortunately, he did let it slip. Bye-bye.